Welcome to Reformist Plays, the original Mountain Blade. Let's start a new game here. I've actually never played the original Mountain Blade, if you can believe that. Yeah, if you can believe that, well, there you go. That's, that's just how it is. Anyway, we're going to be playing with Barney here. We're going to just try this out a little bit and see exactly what we can do. So I'm going to go for some prisoner management right here. Pathfinding, in my opinion, is pretty important. Then we'll go for Iron Flesh and all that wonderful stuff. Some more Weapon Master. Probably some more Athletics as well. I'm going to go for two-handed weapons here. And for this small special feature, we're just going to be randomizing a very small amount and then giving him some hair and then that's it there we go all right so we're in the game now here's the thing as i said i have never once before loaded up the original mount of blade without any mod installed usually i've used the original mount of blade for mods like the last days of the third age and for star wars conquest now that both of those mods have been well they've basically been ported they've been ported to warband so it's basically pointless to, uh, you know, to, to play the original. But I thought to myself, I think it would be a really cool idea for, for us to go back and just see where it all began and see all the differences. And the major difference that I have so far seen, you know what it is? There aren't any Saranids in this game, as far as I, ha as far as I can see so far. And uh, the colors are very strange to me as well, because obviously Rodox... They are technically the Nords colors, and the Nords are the Saranids colors. So that's obviously very much changed. And then obviously you can see your character report, all that wonderful stuff there. You can take an action, select a book to read. I believe we do have a book. Yes, Method of Mechanical Theorems. That's pretty decent. And we have nine units already, which is actually pretty nice. So we're actually going to be fighting these looters immediately. Let's do this. All right, so I'm actually pretty excited about this. Oh! Look at that! Oh, I actually like that quite a bit more than what they've done in Warband. Is that just me? Or maybe maybe that's a, a couple of other people as well, but... Basically, I much prefer seeing the unit's names rather than the banners above their heads. I don't know why, but that's just me. I, I personally just prefer that. Anyway, what we're going to do is... Uh, yeah, the combat animations are just... Oh yeah, they're janky. They are janky like no one's business. But yeah, I do much prefer seeing the name of the unit above the head. I think that's actually kind of nice, personally. And I really do want to get a two-handed weapon as soon as possible. So maybe we'll be able to do that. Maybe I can kill this guy. There we go. And hopefully I won't die. Uh, bear in mind I'm playing on the highest difficulty settings. So I'm going to be dying very, very quickly indeed. Let me see if I can get off my mount and do something here. Okay, come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yes, yes. Overheads, overheads. That's what we like to see. Okay. Yeah, so uh, apparently I am playing with in... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not playing with inverted. That's the thing. I'm not playing with inverted, which is actually not good. So I'm going to have to... <laughs> I will have to change that because it looks extremely weird to me and feels even weirder, if you can believe it. So we're going to have a look at that after this. Technically, this Falchion is pretty good, but we're not going to go for that. We're not going to use that at the moment. We're going to go for this instead. And, whoa, that Butcher Knife is actually not even that bad, <laughs> amazingly enough. Okay, so I'm just going to take all of this. We're going to look like a gnome for a little bit of time. And we're just going to go into the options menu here real quick. You can actually see all my difficulty settings and things like that. And, yeah, so by inverse mouse movement is what I want to have here. That is definitely the way to go. And otherwise, let's just continue onward. I think we actually did lose a couple of people in that particular attack. But we can increase our people. I'm actually going to make them into crossbowmen. Basically, what I am planning on doing is making Barney into an absolute monster with his two-handed weapons and basically just being extremely, extremely powerful. Oh, there's no speed up? No, look at that. There's no speed up. I'm holding control and pressing space. There is no speed up. So we are going to have to run, or I will have to run from town to town in a normal normal pace. That is... Actually, you know what? That's actually a kind of funny story. If you haven't seen my original playthrough of native and this was the one that i started back in 2012 if you haven't seen that then you won't know what i'm about to tell you but if you have then props to you but anyway 
point is, this is so reminiscent of my first time playing Warband, or basically the first 30 or so episodes, when I had no idea that you could speed up the game with holding down control and then moving somewhere. Or, or should we say control and space. Yes, control and space is the thing. Anyway, so basically what happened then was I was running around constantly trying to... I can't afford 300 dinars. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Trying to get from place to place. And no one told me at the time. No one told me. I'm not entirely sure why that was. Maybe they didn't know either. But it was actually kind of hilarious when I actually did find out that the <laughs> that the uh, that, that, that was a, that was actually uh, you know a thing that was actually available for uh, for use. So kind of interesting. Kind of interesting that uh, the original Mountain Blade does not have that. So pretty interesting, really. Anyway, let's see if we can do some damage here. I'm actually kind of liking fighting in the original Warband, even though the animations are so incredibly janky and, uh, you know, very, very, you know, weird and, and, and everything. It's it's a lot of fun. Oh, hello. No, no. You're not going to kill me, thank you very much. Not just yet, at least. Yeah, I know I realize I should really be going and fighting some looters, but I thought it might be fun to try out the arena and just see how much it has changed, if at all. And it doesn't seem like it's changed that much, so I don't really need to worry about it. And maybe we can do a nice thrust here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we can actually... You know, I've actually I've actually seen here multiple times that it seems like our sword is capable of knocking down enemies extremely easily. Now, in Warband, that seems to only happen much more often, at least with blunt weapons. So it seems like blunt weapons have been given that particular attribute in Warband, whereas it seems like every every weapon in the original Mountain Blade actually does do that. Anyway, as you can see, we have some tournaments being held here. Obviously, I don't have a huge amount of money at the moment, so I basically won't be able to bet on myself, which is unfortunate. But we do have some looters right here. So we're going to be heading after them as soon as possible. Oh, I keep... I keep wanting to speed up, you know. I keep wanting to speed up. That is, uh, that is just hilarious. Anyway, this video basically is just a small little nostalgic look at the original Man and Blade, and it's obviously something as well that is a bit chill. It's a bit chill. I'm not, I'm not looking to be, you know, super min maxi or anything like that. I'm going to be trying my best to obviously play as, play as well as I can. But obviously, you know me, sometimes I will tend to get myself eliminated way, way, way too easily. But otherwise, considering I am playing with the Rodox, we are going to be using a crossbow as well. So I think that might be kind of fun. <laughs> that was that was pitiful. That was absolutely pitiful. Okay, come on, Barney. You can do much better than that. I'm going to get off my mount. I've always, I've never really been very good at uh, mounted mounted shooting or mounted combat in general so it's kind of interesting okay there we go i got yes yes i did a fantastic job there good work barney yes hey or oh, oh, okay wow that was that was pretty that was pretty impressive he did a lot of damage to me right there okay come on take him out take him out crossbowman look you're right there kill him yes there we go there we are Okay, so we're losing a whole bunch of people, but that is to be expected, of course. And uh, I'm, I'm just hoping that I'll be able to find Yamira soon, because... Or, or Jeremus, either one. I actually don't even know whether they're in this one. Are they in this one? Oh, no. That would be very bad if they weren't. That would be very, very bad if they weren't. I'm going to get a Spearman now, I guess. Okay, so let's just continue to recruit people. Or, shall we say, I will continue to recruit people. Alright, so I should actually correct myself here, because... I did say that there is no speed up, you know what I mean? So like when you hold down control and press space, there's no speed up to that effect. You know, in other words, you can't, you know, you can't chase after people faster and move faster on the on the map and things like that. That's actually not true. There is a speed up, but it only works when you're stationary, which is obviously a way to make it so that you can just wait longer, I would assume, and you could just wait there much quicker. I suppose that's the that's the main thing uh, about that particular feature. 
And I suppose then the developers were like, oh, okay, so we should probably make it so that it works with traveling as well. And that's what they did, obviously, with Warband. And I mean, we got to consider that Mount of Blade came out in 2008 and Warband came out in 2010. So that's not even... That's, that's only two years, you know? That's only two years. And they made some pretty significant improvements. Obviously, you know... Warband looks relatively similar, basically almost the same as this, so there's that, but yeah, that's just how it is. Anyway, I'm actually looking for a murderer here, as you can see, and we're going to be attacking him. Oh, hello there. Ah, uh, can I just ask something real quick? Didn't I have my sword out? I did have my sword out, I'm pretty sure. Whew, that was close. That was really close. Okay. Thankfully, we <laughs> we took down the nervous man. And I'm actually thinking that I want to kind of talk to the village elder right here. Because I would like to maybe get a task from him as well. Do you have any tasks? How much grain do you need? Seven packs of wheat. Okay. I'll try it. I will try to help you out, sir. And uh, this, this uh, was given to me by Lord Trimbao. Lord Trimbao was over in this direction, so if I could find him, that would be splendid, but uh, I think it's going to be a bit more difficult than I anticipate. Or maybe not, actually, because as you can see right here, we found him, and yeah, I gave him his punishment. I am actually going to be taking the money, because personally, I need money right now rather than anything else. Do you have any other tasks? Uh, it seems like we need to go to Etrosk Castle. Where is that? Ooh, that's far away. That's all the way over there. Yeah, it's unlikely that I will be able to do that very soon. How much do I have? 364. Hmm, that's enough to recruit Rolf. If he's actually still here. Is he still here? Yes, he is still here, but I'm, I don't know whether I really want to recruit him over someone else or just keep the money in general and then be able to use it for something else maybe that would be an idea anyway let's see bring wheat uh, bring wheat okay so bring wheat so we need to go to the marketplace and see if we can buy some there's none <laughs> ah there we go we got some wheat right here okay so wow that's actually expensive that is expensive as no one's business why is it so expensive well, I, I get you know what i guess it's not actually expensive for other people but it's expensive for me i'm actually just going to sell that book and then just get the wheat that way and then i'll go to the nearby town of yokala yokala whatever and uh, hopefully we will be able to come across a couple of bandits along the way and then we'll be able to level up our forces just that little bit more ah that's another very very big change in the original over warband the flag you know the flag? You know the flag that I always bring out in all my series where I, I'm like, Oh, everyone should hold position right here. Yeah, there is none in this. There is no flag. So that's pretty interesting in itself because I would have expected them to have the flag, but apparently not. Apparently not. Anyway, this is going to be pretty easy for us right here because we're just going to tell everyone to charge. i got to say, I feel like the control scheme for commanding your units is much, much more simple shall we say in the original because if you if you go everyone if you if you press one on the keyboard then you get everyone and if you press two then you get infantry three archers four cavalry and so on and so forth and then you also have infantry and archers as five. Oh, look at that you can actually switch between them oh that's pretty interesting as well I'm actually just pressing five right here and it switches between cavalry and infantry and archers that's actually a really cool system in my opinion but obviously you do get maybe a little bit more control in Warband, obviously. I mean, you're going to expect that, I guess. But I, I like the fact that everyone is on one rather than in Warband, it's on zero. So technically I could obviously, you know, customize my keys however I wanted to in Warband. But I think that's actually a really nice little change there. So I think that's actually pretty cool, in my opinion. I think it's cool that you can order everyone with one instead of zero. I think that's actually quite nice. Anyway, that was a uh, band of, you know, band of looters right there. And we're just going to, I don't even know whether I should get crossbowmen or whether I should get spearmen because obviously spearmen are pretty 
pretty bad in most respects. So maybe I should just get two of those and two of those. We'll just try and go even down the middle. Oh, there's a tournament. I'm very injured, though. Ugh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, there's Dashavi. Uh, it would be cool to actually get her, but... Uh, that's, uh, that's uh, you know, that's going to be a bit a bit difficult. Okay, let's just have a look and see how much grain they have here. Oh, they have, they have, they have a pretty decent amount. So they've got how many? One, two, three. We need seven. So one, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm actually just going to buy some cabbage because we need it. And how much money do I actually have? 712. Ooh, I really want to do this tournament, but I'm, I'm injured. That is, uh, that is not good. That is not good at all. I would very much like to do that tournament if at all possible. Maybe we should try it. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could. Let's go for some more riding skill. Go for two-handed. If I get a crossbow or something, we might be okay, but... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to wait here for some time. If the tournament expires, then that's just how it's going to have to be. But it doesn't. If it doesn't, then we're going to go in and we're going to fight. Ah, now another very different change from uh, Warband is this screen right here. So you can see, obviously, this is our weekly wages. And usually, you know, usually you're going to get like a rundown of all your investments and things like that. I'm actually unsure whether uh, you can get investments in the original. I'm not sure about that. We should probably check for a guild master, to be honest. Yeah, by the way, the tournament ended, so obviously I was unable to participate, but now we are full HP, so I suppose we could fight some more looters or something like that, but right now I'm just wanting to find the guild master. There's the guild master. Hello. I'd like to do a task for you. Hmm, so as you can see, it doesn't seem like there is an enterprise option. That's interesting. Okay, so let's have a look. I will hunt down these bandits. 80 dinars. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Where are they? Oh, are you serious? There's 26 of them? Oh, no. I only have 16. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, don't think I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> Maybe? Hmm, it's highly unlikely, I'd say. Ah, uh, I yeah, will. Never mind. I guess it's all right. I mean... Maybe I could try it. Forest bandits are kind of harsh. I, you know, personally, I really enjoy the way that the bandits are spread out in the original. I feel like the bandits are spread out much, much better in the original than they are in Warband. Because in Warband, yeah, okay, you know, you've got looters and you've got forest bandits in the sort of forest next to Swadian territory. And then obviously you have sea raiders in Nord territory. And then you have... Uh, Tega bandits in Vegir territory, and then you got steppe bandits in Kurgits, in Kurgit lands, and then you obviously have desert bandits in uh, in in the Saranet territory, and then obviously you've got mountain bandits in in Rodox. So that's that's fine, but I'm actually really liking the fact that it is changing pretty significantly what you can find in a pretty easy fashion as well. You're not actually struggling to find bandits. Whereas in the original, I think you'd probably struggle unless you went to Sea Raider territory, because Sea Raiders are usually extremely easy to find and Tega bandits are easy to find. But if you want to find looters, if you want to find lower tier units to fight as a new character, I think it's going to be a bit difficult. Hmm, maybe that's just my own experience because in the original series of Native that I played in Warband all those years ago, I had to grind on looters with my Swadian units w until they would get to like man-at-arms or something like that. I mean, I, I definitely would have been able to take on some bandits that were higher tier, but obviously because I was a bit of a noob, you know, I was a bit new to the game, so I really didn't fully understand the most efficient way of leveling up and all that sort of thing. So generally I could have, but I spent a whole bunch of time leveling up on looters and it was super difficult to find them. So I guess that's the main reason why I'm thinking that this is a, a pretty cool way of doing things. But anyway, we're going to go into the village center once again. We're going to go and speak to the elder who is going to be overjoyed, no doubt. Yes. Seven packs, and we've got some additional relation. Is that it? 
Oh, okay. Well, I can teach you how to defend yourselves, I suppose. But, uh, ooh, there we go. We get four Rodok crossbowmen now. Yeah, that is actually a thing in the original. I seem to remember that I tried to do that in Warband, where my, my first ever village that I was awarded by King Harlaus when I was a vassal for the Kingdom of Swadia. My first ever village was Namasia. That was very close to Harringoth Castle, on the border between the Rodoks and the Swadians. And I thought to myself, wow, I'm so lucky. King Harlaus has given me this wonderful village. And uh, then I went over there and I obviously found out that it was looted because I, at that point I didn't know that the <laughs> didn't know that the lieges and things like that tend to give all of the lower, mm, shall we say, lower quality villagers. Uh, villagers or villages? <laughs> yes, anyway, villages to, you know, to the to the player when, it, when they first join the faction. So I didn't know that. And so I was just, I was just very proud. And it's, it's kind of naive of me and uh, maybe a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit sweet at, at the same time, because obviously I had no idea that, uh, that that's what they did. But I was just very proud of my village and I would take care of it like no one's business. I would literally stay around there def defending it from bandits, defending it from from vassals, from enemy vassals and things like that. But the most thing that I was doing is doing tasks for that village. And I would literally do so many tasks that I would get, I, I think I got it to like 40 relation or something like that, didn't I? I'm actually unsure about... Did I just get killed by a peasant? Yes. Yes, I, I did just get killed by a peasant. Thankfully, it's a little bit forgiving where I'm able to go in again and actually train them properly this time. But I was unable to block for some reason. Maybe the staff is not uh, not applicable for blocking. Can I actually block with this? Yeah, you can block with it. It's weird. Okay, well, whatever the case. Whoa. I feel like the combat is much faster in this as well. It's kind of weird. All right, well, whatever the case. Basically, I, yeah, so basically what I was told in the comments at that point was, hey, do, you know, do tasks for your village, and then you'll, you'll be able to turn it into like a, uh, a troop farm, you know, you can basically get really high level troops out of the village without having to level them up first. And I thought, what? That's crazy. That's a fantastic, you know, fantastic idea, because that would then mean that I don't have to spend all this time fighting bandits, fighting looters, and now my party has nothing to eat. That's the reason why I bought that that dried meat and, the, and bread. But, oh well, never mind. Yes, but anyway, that was the reason why I spent so much time leveling up my village and my relation with, it, with them. And eventually I think I had like 60 relation. Am I remembering incorrectly? Maybe, but I think I had a pretty high relation with them. And then at, at that point I realized, hey, you know what? I'm probably going to go out and try and take a castle or something like that because at that point I had about mm, I, I I may not remember correctly but I think I had about 20 to 25 Swadian Knights and I thought to myself whoa that's not a lot <laughs> but it actually is in native you know having that many knights or or even man at arms is actually pretty insane so you know i was i was pretty proud of myself for for getting that many but you know at the time obviously i was not really knowing what was going on for the most part so anyway let's see what we can do about defending the village from oh no they have crossbowmen oh dear yes from these mountain bandits this is probably not going to go too well let's just say that Take him out. Take him out. Let's try and slice him and dice him. Slice him and dice him. That didn't really work out too well. I'm actually hoping that some of my Rodox units will actually be here. And it seems like they are. So I'm pretty happy with that. Take him off his mouth. Yes. He went slidey slidey as well. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, so let's see if I can... Ooh, yeah, nice. Overheads are still effective. I'm glad to see that. Overheads are still nice. Okay, we're, we're doing okay? Are we doing okay? Kill him. Yes, there we go. Good work, Barney. Good work. Okay, I think, you know, I think the main the main problem that I'm having right now is the fact that my mouse sensitivity is so incredibly high 
So I really do need to, to reduce that, in my opinion. Oh, I'm getting murdered. Nah, you're not going to kill me. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. Let's try and kill that guy. Yeah, ooh, he almost got me with his with his maul. Did you see how fast he was? He, like, turned around on a dime, and he was like, Ooh, yeah, I'm going to smash your face in. But thankfully, Barney was just that little bit quicker, and we were able to pull out a victory. Wow, that's pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so we did it. And I'm going to take the money, or the, the goods. Ooh, this is actually kind of nice. Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, yes. There we go. So we've got food now. We've got some more wheat if another village wants some. And we have some flour, some linen, and some tools that we can potentially sell. So, yeah. Now we have 15 relation with these guys. And if I want to do more, then I could technically do that. And I could get even more, well, good units, I suppose you could say. So let's just level these guys up. And then we'll go on to Veluca. And I really want to find Yumira. I really want to find Yumira, to be honest. Okay, let's go into the tavern. Maybe if Rolf is here, we will now recruit him. Yeah, I guess we will, we will recruit him now. Oh. Am I serious? <sighs> I did not. I did not know that. He's not going to... Na he's, he's not going to join us now. So I might as well not even bother to go back in there. Oh, well, never mind. My bad. I actually thought that I still had space. But... Apparently I didn't. Apparently I didn't. Okay, so we can now sell these tools and the linen. We can sell the flour and I guess I might as well keep the wheat just in case. Yeah, just keep the wheat just in case because you never know. You might actually get, you know, a quest or something that will help help out a village somewhere. And we did actually level up. So let's go for another point in strength. Another point in uh, power strike. And... You know what I want to do? I want to take a look at the weapons because I would like to be able to get what? This is a this is a fantastic weapon, a balanced warhammer. It's a fantastic weapon. It just doesn't have crush through blocks. If it had crush through blocks, I'd basically be buying that right now if I had the money, which I don't, obviously. Uh, heavy morning star is pretty good. Balanced maul, uh, that's actually pretty good too, amusingly enough. But it doesn't have crush through blocks. I'm actually wondering whether crush through blocks is even a thing in the original. I don't think it is, actually. It seems like... Mo oh, no, they do have bonus against shields. They have bonus against shields, so maybe they do have, you know, crush through blocks as well. That would be kind of fun. Anyway, there's a great sword right here. I'm not going to be buying it, even though I should be. But uh, I'm not going to be buying it, mainly because I would like to participate in a tournament. Sargoth... Uxkarl and Yalen. Yalen is a Rodok town. It's all the way over there. Uh, it's going to take me a bit of time to get over there, I guess. So, I've arrived. It is time for us to do a tournament, and I am very much looking forward to this. I have about a thousand dinars to spend on betting, and uh, we'll see how we do. So, uh, what do I actually have here? I have an axe. Okay. This might be okay. I might do alright, or I might just fail completely. Oh, what? That guy, he has so much proficiency. Okay. Yeah, you're a beast. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, you're a beast. Oh no, there's a champion fighter. Okay, I did get eliminated. Oh, I actually thought that I would be able to continue onward. Oh well. <laughs> that was... Uh, I traveled all the way there, and it was basically a waste of time. Oh well. Never mind. Matteld is actually here, so I think we might want to... You know what? I don't have enough space still. Ah, that is a common problem. A common problem. Okay, so let me let me just get rid of one of my one of my recruits right there. He can just go and chill. And uh, let's have a look. 500! Okay, fine. And, uh, well, actually, Katrine, I would like to take, because she, I think she's pretty decent as an engineer. But... Uh, don't think I have enough money, really, for that. Oh, well. Seems like tournaments are certainly going to be off the books for me for the moment. And we will have to get money elsewhere. But I think that will be it for this episode, or indeed for this video. It really depends. If you want to see an additional episode, then leave it down in the comments. And uh, maybe hit the like button if you want as well. You don't have to. I don't, I don't really mind. So, anyway. Point is, if you'd like to see more, let me know. Otherwise... I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.